Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Infinite Potatoes back here with another Battlefront guide. Today we are going to be overviewing the CR2 Blaster Rifle for the Assault class. The CR2 is potentially the best blaster in the game at the time that I'm making this video, and you'll see why in my eyes it's the best blaster in the game. I'll be going over its different weapon attachments and how they affect the blaster all the statistics we know about it, and tactics and tips to help you become the best with this blaster. In the description, I'll have timestamps so you can easily find your way through this video, but I'd suggest staying for the whole video because you might learn something new. Before we dive into this, remember, anything is subject to change, including damage values, recoil, accuracy, and anything I mentioned in this video. The CR2 is the third weapon you can unlock for the Assault class. The CR2 is a close quarter weapon that deals high damage and a low cooling rate, with an extreme rate of fire. The only downside is its inaccuracy at distances and an ample amount of recoil, which you can slightly fix. We'll talk about that later in the video. So this weapon is practically the EE4 of Battlefront 2, except that you don't have to burst it, it's full auto. I like how the weapons have a learning curve in Battlefront 2 such as the CR2. You'll have to adjust and learn how to play with the blaster and get used to it. Now how to unlock it and its different attachments. To unlock the main blaster itself without any attachments is by defeating 200 enemies with the assault class. I'm liking the way they decided to do this, how it's not completely based off of credits, 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 buy, 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 but it's grinding for each weapon and grinding for those attachments and it really does give you something to do. Now the three attachments that go with this gun are the reduced recoil modification, the ion shot modification, and the night vision scope modification. Now we'll go through each one of these so you can see if you want to grind to get them. First off is the reduced recoil mod. This modification adds a shoulder stock to your CR2, thus decreasing your recoil. You need to defeat 50 enemies with the CR2 to unlock it for your blaster. Here is a comparison whether if you have the mod on or off. This mod is probably the best mod for this weapon. I personally don't think it should be allowed to be attached with this blaster. What it does is it makes the weapon too easy to handle, and that's why everybody uses it. This mod takes away that learning curve from it. Anyways, it is essential for this blaster to have its stock equipped once unlocked. It's that good. Now the next mod is the Ion Shot modification. Now there isn't a lot of things I can say about this mod, but I'll give you the basic rundown. The Ion Shot modification changes out your regular blaster bolts to ion charged ones. What that means is that they do a lot more damage to vehicles and shields, but a lot less to infantry. And it also makes your blaster bolts too, so that's always a cool thing. To unlock the ion shot modification, you need to defeat 150 enemies with the CR2. I'm not sure if this mod is useful for you, but I know for me personally, I never have it equipped. As it makes it harder for me to go on streaks. I like how they had it in the first game where the ion shot was toggleable. If that was in Battlefront 2, I'd definitely be using it on the CR2. And the final modification for this blaster is the night vision scope. To unlock it, you need to defeat 250 enemies with the CR2, which will take some time if you're using other classes or weapons. The night vision scope adds a scope to your blaster with magnification. And most importantly, it makes everything blue. When in a darker area of the map, the night vision scopes make enemies appear bright blue so there is no missing them. The only thing is you have to aim down the sight to use it. This modification might help you a lot or hinder you. For me, it hindered because for me, I am always hip firing and never ADSing, which is short for aiming down sight for those who don't know. And also, they put a magnification onto the scope, so whenever you zoom in, things actually get bigger. This didn't help me, and I'd rather have it off. 
but if you are used to playing game modes such as Strike, where you might come across a few campers, this might help you. Being able to see the enemies that you wouldn't normally be able to see is very useful. Let's move on to strategies of this weapon. As I've previously stated in the video that the CR2 is a closed quarter blaster. You're not going to have fun trying to snipe with this. So with this weapon, well, you guessed it, you should stay in close quarters. You're able to take out one to two enemies without having to manually cool down your weapon. For me, that's great. If you have your Vanguard as a secondary, you can always use that as a backup. Mats like Moss Isley, Yavin 4, and Endor are perfect for this blaster, as they provide amazing cover and close quarters situations, which is where this weapon thrives. At its best range, you can take out almost any enemy class, due to their low health. But you are probably going to have the same problem as I did. If you're going against a heavy class and they activate their right ability, which in most cases is a shield, you're go definitely going to have a problem. The CR2 does minimum damage to shields, and you're going to be in a horrible situation. With the heavy class spraying bolts at you and you're trying to kill the shield or run away, one of the strategies that I've used, well, that sometimes works, not guaranteed to work ever, but I found that strafing and jumping could actually save you because your bullets won't completely deviate from your target because you are in your blaster's range. Like I said, it might work, it might not. If you have a secondary weapon such as a vanguard, it can take out the shield in 1-2 to two full hits. Full hits meaning your entire shot is hitting. Or if it's that bad and you have a ton of shield spammers on the opposite team, you might want to consider running the ion shot modification. It does make it a lot harder to eliminate the enemy once the shield is gone, but it might be tr worth trying. Staying mobile is always a useful tip for any blaster. I love how they made Battlefront that way, where the blasters give you some forgiveness for movement. That's what makes Battlefront Battlefront. If you have any tips, feel free to leave them below. I plan on making more of these overviews and guides if you guys enjoy them. So let me know in the comments or simply by liking this video. If this video helped you in any way, make sure to share with a friend and help them out. I'm Infinite Potatoes, and see you guys in the next video.